107.7 WIBK, the Zach Brown Band, and Chicken Fried at 812. A special event this weekend, tonight through Saturday at Sidesplitters Comedy Club. You can get your tickets and get all the details at sidesplitterscomedy.com. But direct from Las Vegas, the one and only, the amazing Jonathan. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Right. Welcome to Knoxville. Thank you. Thank you very much. Almost didn't make it here. Oh, really? Yeah, man. I was real close. We got in a car accident uh, a couple what? weeks ago. Yeah. No kidding. Had it on. No. Yeah. Had it on a car accident. Uh, I didn't have seatbelts or airbags. I was in a 67 Camaro, which is all steel. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we, we're just on our feet. Like Goodness. Like two, three days ago, we are walking in. That is amazing. That's what I looked like three weeks ago. Oh, my oh, gosh. You're beat up. It. Yeah. That's incredible. Shoot. So you're lucky to be alive. I photoshopped that. But anyway, <laughs> I look close to that. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're here, man. This is, uh, what, 11 years headlining in Vegas? Yeah, 12. This is our 12th 12? year. We were supposed to go there for two weeks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're for David, David Brenner. We no. were filming for his summer vacation. Wow. Uh -huh. And uh, we've been there for 12 years now. Good oh, great. Well, you must like it out there. Was it yeah, fun? yeah, well, I, I did like it. It's kind of <laughs> slow right now. I mean, yeah. the things are really slow in Vegas. The recessions hmm. hit really hard. So we were getting five, 600 people a night. Now we're getting lucky to get 100, 200 a night. Wow. Really? Yeah. yeah, it's slow there. But uh, the good news is we're still making millions of dollars. So no <laughs> <laughs> We're well, good. You've had a hugely successful yeah. career. I mean, you've been on every major uh, nighttime show. I mean, from Letterman to Leno, all yeah, that man, stuff. Yeah, I, man, I, I've been on every show. But it, and it's great because of, now I'm hearing after the shows I'm hearing, I've been watching you since I was a kid. Every, yeah. Every, every, everyone <laughs> Sorry. Everyone says that. <laughs> right. You know, and at first you're like, oh, son of a you know, <laughs> now, now you've, you know, it's good. It's longevity. That's what you want. You yeah. Want longevity. Yeah. So, yeah, man, I've been in the business for 20 years. And, yeah. and you got magic and uh, comedy. What was your first love, comedy or magic? I was a magician at first, and then I did, uh, I was a really horrible magician. <laughs> and uh, I did one show that was so bad, my high school talent show, <laughs> that I did six tricks, and all six tricks went wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really, really horrible. Uh -oh. That night I said, this, I'm never going to do another live magic show again, and I never did. So that's when I switched to comedy. This show was so bad. I mean, it was... <laughs> I was in front of all my high school friends, oh, my yeah, parents, and all my relatives, oh, everyone no. I knew. Oh, my God. And the girl inside the sword box had a leg cramp. And <laughs> she, she was saying, I have to get out of the box. And I'm like, stay in the box. We're almost done. No, I have to get out. So she stood up, 